But first tonight, a community jumped into action to help after a boat crash on High Rock Lake. Three people were taken to the hospital. Good evening, I'm Ariel Cadet. WFMI News 2's Amber Lake talked to some people who stepped in to help. I saw that there was nothing but blood across her face. A peaceful day on the water. And of course, I'm, I'm thinking the worst and like, she needs immediate care. Turned frantic as a community jumped into action. I did what I'm trying to do. The Story family was taking advantage of a sunny Saturday afternoon near Abbott's Creek when they heard a weird noise on the water. We found uh, a bass boat had ran up on the side of a pontoon. Uh, two people were in the water, uh, uh, elderly female with a dog. Ryan Story and his wife Erica immediately ran to their own boat and made their way over to the crash. That's when Erica, who's a registered nurse, jumped in. You know, my training took over. Um, I seen people that were hurt that needed assistance and, you know, all my training kicked in, adrenaline kicked in. The Stories, along with many others, did everything to help the victims in the crash. It does take first responders time. Uh, they're not always out on the lake and for if us as citizens, just regular people out here on the lake, if we can react and, and, and help any way we can, then that, that's huge until first responders can get on scene. They say they had all hands on deck. People provided cold water to the victims as others worked to stop the boat's motor. I felt like everybody came together when it was needed and we did what we were supposed to do. The three people who were on the pontoon were taken to the hospital but expected to be okay. The neighbors that helped, though, are left with a gratifying feeling, knowing they saved lives. It's pretty amazing. Uh, people do amazing things in, in situations uh, when it's needed. It was, a, it was a group effort. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling that when people are in need, everybody comes together and they do what they're supposed to do. North Carolina Wildlife Commission is handling the crash and investigation. The Sheriff's Office said wildlife, fire, rescue, emergency medical services and the Sheriff's Office all responded to the crash.